We're talking about the one thing that every single entrepreneur needs to know. While there are many things that an entrepreneur needs to know, this is the one thing. And I will tell you, this is actually, for me, the first thing. So it is one thing that every entrepreneur needs to know, and it is the one thing that, it's the first thing that every entrepreneur needs to know. So one thing that everyone needs to know, and it's the first thing you need to know. If you're planning on doing business, if you're planning on working, if you're planning on growing as well, a world-class uh, business, this is a must. There's a have to. Uh, really no choice. And I will tell you it's one of the toughest things to really uh, narrow down, get it to where you can dial it in, but it's something that you have to be able to say uh, in, in order to keep you on track. You'll notice behind me a uh, new kind of a little image there, live your mission live. Um, I've been saying this phrase for a while and I've really kind of started to dial that in for these talks, my talks during the week that are apart from uh, my show and apart from my life insurance business and all that stuff. Uh, this, this show is kind of really more about uh, entrepreneurship and you know kind of just personally how to be more effective and more successful in life in general. Uh, so uh, the the show I've kind of just accepted that you know my my mission is the show which is live your mission <laughs> live your mission live with Joe Warsack. So that's what we're up to. What's going on, Monica? Thanks for tuning in, Randall. Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, so this is I, I think probably the most important thing. And I don't, you know, it, it, it may or may not be shared a lot. I have no idea. But I, I tell you what, it is super, super important. Um, so I will, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to tell you guys a, a pretty personal story. I'm going to tell you guys a pretty personal part of my life uh, from my childhood and growing up. And I grew up uh, in a home with an abusive alcoholic father and a mom who, uh, who had grew, grew up on the streets. She had a pretty tough life. And uh, it was an exciting, you know, household to live in. <laughs> now, let me tell you, in many ways, I had it easy as far as America goes. We were, you know, money-wise, we, we didn't really suffer. Uh, you know, we were very middle, middle lower income, uh, you know, household, but nevertheless, uh, we, we didn't lack for meals and, and a lot of things that uh, can make life a lot more challenging. Uh, but with dad, I tell you, it was, uh, it was a interesting, interesting life. And I'm, I'm not here on this video to disparage him or uh, the family or anything else. I, I, you know, have long since been given up being bitter about any weirdness that I had growing up. Um, but I wanted to say that growing up in that setting, uh, I really had no idea what it meant to be a godly father. I had no idea uh, what it meant to be a godly husband. I really had no idea what it meant to be uh, a good friend. Um, these were all things that were mysteries to me. Growing up in life, I just didn't have an example for them. I had a pretty darn good example of what those things weren't. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that, right? Um, but without knowing it, I became driven to find things that work. And even as a, a little kid, I would take things apart. Uh, I, I became very analytical. And without knowing it, I was, I was kind of subconsciously realizing, and it took me a long time to come, become clear about this, but I realized that um, because I knew the pain of things that didn't work, and sometimes I knew that pain really intimately, um, I had a very, very strong passion uh, to find things that work and then share those things with people once I discovered them, right? And so uh, that could be just about anything. Um, it could be faith. I, when I found my faith, I, I you know, got ordained and, and was very, very involved in church and a number of things because I found that it worked. And because I knew the th pain of things that didn't work, uh, I wanted to share what I had found and keep people from pain themselves as much as I could to lead them to a way that, that just worked better in life. And 
One thing that happens when you start sharing things, especially things like your faith, uh, you'll quickly figure out that uh, you can step on some toes. You can upset some people if you know what I'm talking about, right? And so I learned then that I had to figure out how to share some of these things that work, but do it in a way that would inspire people to take action and, and not just any old action. I mean, doing something is better than doing nothing, uh, but to take a specific action that, that would lead them towards greatness. So in other words, sharing something with them. When I found it, that when I found something that worked, I wanted to then share it with some people and I wanted to do it in a way that inspired them to take specific action towards greatness, which is why my mission statement in life and for my business is find, share, inspire. Uh, it, uh, you'll see it all over the place with me in life. I share it all over the place. Uh, find, share, inspire. Find, find the things that work, share the things that I find, and inspire action towards greatness. That's my personal mission statement in life, uh, and it is a, it is a part of everything that I do. It is a part of every business decision. It is a part of every uh, business relationship is a part of every uh, waking moment for me on what my thought process is and how I live life. And for me, anything that doesn't fall within my mission parameter, find the things that work, share the things that I find, inspire action towards greatness, then I just don't have the time to incorporate them. I'm about my mission 24-7 uh, because my mission is what I am driven to accomplish and I really really I'm in the zone when I'm doing it I'm in the zone when when I uh, when I am about my mission I'm excited fulfilled uh, I have a, a insatiable amount of in, energy uh, and I'm doing it right now with you guys right I don't get paid to do this I'm sharing stuff that I find that works uh, because that's what excites me when I find something that works, I'm all about sharing it with you guys and passing it on. And hopefully, in a way that make you want to take action and do it yourself, right? And so, that brings me back to the intro of this video, which is, what is the one thing that you must know? Can you guess now? <laughs> what you must know before you do anything. If you're already in business, I highly, highly rock recommend. I literally had this conversation over the weekend with somebody where I told them they needed to go and lock themselves in a room away from everything, everybody, shut the phone off, all that stuff, the computer, get away from all of it and just get yourself a notebook and start writing about why you do what you do. All right? And, and uh, this person I was talking to, said, uh, and I want to give you just an example, they said that they want to, uh, you know, show people, they want to do a travel show, and they want to include people in all their craziness and all their crazy travels, and not like on a lot of money, just going to third world countries, I mean, just all over the place, everywhere, wherever wherever their path goes, uh, and have, take people along the journey with them, and I, I said, okay, so why? Well, because well, I like to travel, and I, and I want them to see all these different places. Okay, why? Well, because people in America are, are very fortunate and, you know, if they see me traveling and they see these other countries, they'll, they'll appreciate, you know, what they have more. And now it's like, aha, we're getting somewhere. Why? Why is that important? Why is it important to you that people appreciate what they have? And I don't want to go through the whole lesson and get down deep into the, the thought process for her uh, with you guys, but I'm exampling out for you the, the process, all right? And if you haven't got this dialed in, hit me up on the side after this video, and I'll be happy to work with you on it. I've got like a little workbook I created, uh, and it's free. I'm not selling it. I'll give it to you for free, uh, and you can check it out, and hopefully it'll help you in this process as well. But it is something you have to know. Why are you driven to do what you're doing? What, what has led you to the business that you're in? What, is, what excites you? There's a whole bunch of different ways to, to ask that question. To really get to the root cause of what makes you tick and why you're interested in being an entrepreneur. I, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you that um, it's 
unique for you. It's different from somebody, everybody else. And if you really dial it in, if you really get it down to where you are able to express it in a single thought, um, that that thing will become a guiding principle for you, will become a guiding thought process on how you make business decisions, uh, the courses that you take your business, um, new projects you take on, all that sort of thing. It provides a tremendous amount of clarity on how to conduct your life. Um, once you have that business concept, uh, that that why concept dialed in, it can really, like the, the, the image behind me here, uh, the, uh, I want to say arrow, the dart hitting the target, bullseye, through the brick wall, breaking through, that's really kind of how it becomes in life for you is that you're able to stay laser focused on uh, your direction. Uh, and that is super important when, when uh, you're creating your brand, when you're creating the look of your brand, the feel of your brand, what is your brand saying, all that stuff because it's got to be connected to the why of what you do. Um, I've also got, and if I would have been more prepared, I could have had this set up in advance for you guys. Um, but I'll get it taken care of. I'll put it in the links later on. Um, uh, a great book that I highly recommend on this is uh, from Simon Sinek, a book called uh, Start With Why. And he'll, he'll take you through that process. Really great process, great book. I highly recommend it. Uh, also, uh, Michael Gerber's E-Myth, they start out with their, their whole process. I took their business coaching, and their process is the primary aim. That's what they call it. What is your primary aim? And they'll, he even gets kind of a little more dramatic in it, and he says, if your primary aim does not align to your business, shut your business down immediately. I mean, they're, they're pretty serious about it. Uh, I will tell you that if you're really focusing on the why and digging down to the root, I, I guarantee you didn't just accidentally get into the business you're in. It's connected to your why. I, I, I would be 99% certain you could sit down and dial that thought in. So, uh, Lacey, thanks for hopping in. Michael, thanks for hopping in. Robert, Raul, Paul, Kara, Lisa, Gilbert, all thanks for, for hopping on the, sh the, the feed here in the show. Uh, live your mission live with Joe Orsack, uh, sharing this thought on what drives you, the one thing that every entrepreneur must know. And I got to tell you guys, that's it. It's You really have to understand your focus, your passion, whatever you want to call it. We have bunch of, a bunch of different words for a bunch of different names, but it's really something that you have to dial in. Once you understand that, it will fuel you to push through the long hours, the blood, sweat, and tears that it takes in building a world-class business. If you don't have that connection really clear, if it's not dialed in, if you don't see how your business connects to your passion, your mission in life, then you do. You need to shut down the business because you simply won't have enough energy. You won't have that drive to go the extra mile. Um, when I was talking to the person this weekend, and we were talking about the show, my, my uh, Wine No Wine show, and they were just you know kind of going on about the show and how much they had enjoyed it, and, and uh, um, that it was very clear that that you know I had a mission with the show, and I, I kind of laughed and, and I said, yeah, yeah, definitely got a mission with the show, um, and we got into this whole conversation, and I said, what happens when you have a mission, when you are driven? You're passionate about something. It's like a cause. You can't help but just think about it and work on it. You literally have to shut your mind off from thinking about it, make like a conscious decision to unplug. Uh, when you are in that zone, people are just attracted to it. They want to be a part of it. People like to belong to a cause and a mission. Uh, and so if you're really able to express that in your business, uh, you, recru you, re you recruit, as I refer to them, disciples of your mission, right? people that just personally personally really align with your mission statement and want to be a part. I've got people that volunteer for the show. I, I can't pay them. The show doesn't make a ton of money and most of the money I make goes to, you know, reinvest in the show. Um, so, and I, I'm not, you know, taking a ton of money out of it, that's for sure. Um, so, I don't have money to pay people. But yet, we've got four, five, six people that, that give of their time. Uh, on a regular basis just because they believe in the mission of the show. That's what happens when you dial in that mission statement 
when you really are connected to it and your business is a vehicle for that mission statement, you just have that energy, that passion, that drive that distinguishes you from everybody else in the business that's just doing it to make a living. So I can't tell you how much I, I really, really, really recommend setting aside some time. Uh, the first, I literally went through this process twice in my life uh, and I spent uh, a week at a, at a beach house with my wife and kids and while they were out on the beach enjoying themselves, I was upstairs locked up in a room with a, with a notebook and just writing through all of these questions uh, and working through the process of honing this mission statement for my life and uh, really dialing it in. And it's been a guiding principle for me, for me now for, I don't know, something like 15 years. Um, and it, in everything that I do, I can point to and uh, show folks how it aligns with what I'm doing. The, the wine to wine show that I do aligns with my mission, 100%. Uh, what I'm doing right now here with you guys aligns with my mission, 100%. My life insurance business aligns with my mission, 100%. Everything that I'm about uh, with my family, with my business, with my faith, all 100% fits into my mission in life. So I highly recommend dialing that time in or spending that time to dial in your mission statement, your why, the thing that really drives you and excites you about life. If you don't have a good idea of how to do that process, like I said, I put together a, a workbook um, and I'll be happy to, to email it to you. Just message me later on. And I, I don't claim that it's like this flawless process to take you through. Uh, they're just questions and pages, kind of uh, uh, points that I pulled together myself through the different courses and the business training that I've been in uh, to uh, help with the process of dialing it in. Because it is really a lot of self-introspection and, and self-reflection uh, drawing this out and it's not an easy process which is why most people don't do it which is why most businesses are just subpar and average so if you're looking to be more than that I'll be help, happy to, to help you in that capacity so there you have it guys I hope you got something out of it I hope you uh, um, took away something from this talk I'd love to t hear your thoughts about it as always chime in with your thoughts and comments in the comment feed about this subject and do this for me if you would please share this video not just for the sake of sharing it I need you to share it with a very specific like do this right share the video and then write as you share it in the post what is the one thing that drives you what is your mission ask your friends get them to start dialoguing about it and sharing those thoughts with you because all of us, you know, birds of feather flock together. A lot of you guys that are tuning in on this show are, are entrepreneurs, own your own business. If we get the friends around us talking about the things that lead to our success, then we are attracting that success into our world and we're pushing away those who don't align with that kind of thought process. So share the video, ask the question, what is the one thing that drives you? What is your passion? What excites you? Right? and get your friends talking about it and see what their thoughts are. I'd love to hear the comments, share those with me if you would. And uh, I appreciate you, uh, as always, being a part of my life, being a friend. And again, I hope this was beneficial to you guys. I'm gonna tune out and we'll see you next, well, hopefully Wednesday. <laughs> we'll see you Wednesday. Bye guys.